going guys Sharblox here back again with some more roblox news for you guys today we have got a lot of information to cover because i think it has been about a week since my last roblox news video i probably should have made this video a couple of days ago because tons of news has built up over the past few days but oh well i'm making it now anyway in this video we are going to be looking at voice chat mobile app updates roblox website updates the avatar editor also had a few updates we have some other random roblox news as well let's just go over to Twitter and catch up on all of the recent Roblox news. Right, so the first one here is a video sent to me by Darwisi, and they said, Sharkbox, can you help me? I can't scroll down. I just tried to find my friend's private server. Right, okay, so this is one of the new Roblox mobile app updates. As you can see, they've selected a game, so they selected Pet Simulator. They are trying to scroll down on the game, and it's not coming up with private servers or just any more information. It's not showing badges. It's not showing public servers. Many people were asking me about this update and they were saying what's happened is roblox broken well i do have a tweet here from tom and he was able to explain this update very well so he said it seems like roblox mobile got a new update and in the screenshots he posted we can see that the private server and the invite friend section has actually moved to a different place so as you can see on the roblox mobile game page what you do is you can either click the options button or you can click the friends button tom clicks the friends button and it says invite friends create a private server join friends so there you go it appears Roblox is not broken. They're just kind of moving stuff around over on the mobile app. Tweet here from Bloxy News. Oh, many of you guys have been asking me about this one. They said, looking to switch between the R6 and R15 body type in the Roblox avatar editor, the toggle has moved to the body category under the scale subcategory. Yes, yeah, so as you guys can see, it used to be here. I'm sure all of you know it used to be here at the top right, but now you have to go to body and then you have to go to scale. I guess I can show you guys quickly over on my James 5 account because I didn't get this update on my shark blocks account but if i go into body and then i go into scale you guys can see that body type has moved yep it used to be up here in the top right but now it's on the scale tab and you can just change it r6 r15 whatever you want if you select r6 it does have a little message telling you that you can't enable these scaling options with r6 enabled so there you go a very very small avatar editor updates roblox updated the avatar shop for some people as well this tweet is from hen and they said the roblox avatar shop search and sorting feature have been removed. You can no longer search for items nor to see updated items. It's been gone for two days for me. Anyone else having this issue? Maybe Hens Roblox is kind of broken here. Maybe they have a plugin installed which is causing this issue because I'm pretty sure these features shouldn't be missing. However, they have changed locations. Over on the avatar shop, my alt account, we can see the search box is now very small, kind of a weird shape as well. It's not curved at the edges anymore like it used to be. And the category sorter, whatever this is called, it's now moved so it used to be over here on the right hand side and now it's been pushed all the way to the left i don't know why roblox did this update honestly it doesn't really look that great yeah i'm not so much of a fan of this one i guess it doesn't matter too much it's just kind of pointless some more news this one is from roblox rtc looks like roblox has added back the friends activity many people were requesting this back and it looks like roblox has listened right so this used to be called friends playing as we know roblox doesn't really like the words play or game because of that whole apple app store issue games became experiences and play became activity and now it's back and it says friend activity so there you go again another boring update let's talk about some roblox limited and trading news as well this one is from roblox trading news over on twitter and they said i know this is off character for this account but this is a major problem recently in the trading community a lot of compromises have been happening recently and while two-factor authentication for trades stops the compers from transferring through these trades there there is another way compers transfer. Compers can do something called LPP transferring where they sell an item for one Robux and then snipe it onto the other account. Roblox added two-factor authentication for trading and buying items but not for selling them. I've said this in my video before, if you guys don't know what comper means, it basically means like hacker, like compromiser, someone that's trying to steal your limiteds or Robux. Well, I don't think Roblox trading news need to worry too much because take a look at this tweet. Another one from Roblox RTC, just a little reminder two-factor authentication will happen to reselling items and mass robux purchases which are soon to come out so there you go look at this two-step verification now supports spending robux trading items i mean we already knew that one and selling items so yep reselling stuff you also need 2fa on your account okay well you don't need it but if you enable it there's less chance of your robux or limiteds getting stolen if you get hacked so there you go that's good news hackers are going to be out of a job soon let's take a look 
work at some more news as well. Another one from Blocks of News. You are now able to link your Roblox account directly to your Team Gilded account. Doing so will have your Roblox username show on your Gilded profile. Head over to your user settings, connections to get started. If you don't know what Gilded is, it's basically like a ripoff version of Discord. I don't know if it's older than Discord, I'm pretty sure it's not. The thing is, everyone just uses Discord. I know Roblox kind of purchased this company, kind of hoping that everyone would use it. Or did they collaborate with this company? I can't remember. But honestly, guys, does anyone even care? Literally nobody uses Gilded. You never hear someone say, oh yeah, add me over on Gilded. Nah, everyone just uses Discord, even though I don't really like Discord that much either. They're all rubbish, to be fair. I know you guys are interested in this one, so let's take a look at some voice chat news. One from RBX News, shout out to them. Breaking, later this fall, so autumn if you live in the UK, Roblox voice chat will be available for early access to all users who verify that they are at least 13 years of age. So yeah guys, we should all know this by now, but you don't have to be 18 to use Roblox voice chat. If you are 13 or older, you can also use it, which is pretty cool. Even one of the official Roblox Twitter accounts tweeted about this. Introducing age verification, the latest milestone in our long-term vision of building a trusted, fun, and civil platform for everyone. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about civil or trusted. I reckon people are gonna get scammed over voice chat. It's going to be crazy to see what happens. Yeah, they did some whole blog post thing, saying you need like a driver license, enter your birthday, verify your age. I'll tell you what, I leave a link to this blog post down below in this video's description. So if you guys are very interested or curious about voice chat, you can go ahead, you can read all of it. I'm not going to read everything in this video, otherwise this video is literally going to be like 30 minutes long. I've talked about this already. You take a picture of your driving license, you submit it. To be honest though, do 13 year olds have driving licenses? Like, I'm pretty sure they don't. Here in the UK anyway, I think you have to be 16 to get a driving license, and it's one of the proper like basic like learner ones. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this. Blocks of News followed up saying, age verification is rolling out gradually, starting today, and will reach all users over the next few weeks. The opt-in feature will be globally available to everyone 13 years old or older in over 180 countries on both desktop and mobile. Bloxy News also confirmed this update. You can now enable voice chat in your Roblox experiences. Head to game settings, options, and then spatial voice chat to enable it. Note, only the select 5,000 developers are actually able to use it for now. So very basically, if you're a big game developer on Roblox, you can probably go into your settings and you can enable it. Maybe everyone can enable this in their game like fairly soon. Here's how it works. You need to scan your ID card, driver's license, or other government ID. Yeah, we all know this. Roblox won't store the raw ID document data. Instead, an anomalized value is generated, which allows Roblox to verify the identity without risking exposure of real identity. Okay, fair enough. That's very good. Roblox matches the data on the document to a library of thousands of global document types to determine if it's legitimate. After scanning, the user will take a selfie to verify they are a living individual as opposed to upload a selfie image. So there you go. Use your ID, take a selfie. Now, I know a few of you guys are wondering what happens if you use a fake ID or a fail or a fake selfie image. Well, it looks like Cabo found out. He said, new ban message. He did tag me in the image. That's how I found this. And it says account deleted. The ID sent to us has been confirmed to be falsified. Your billing information has been sent to the proper authorities. Reason, fake ID, offensive item. And as you can see, it's McLovin. McLovin from the 2007 movie called Superbad. I don't know if you guys have seen that film. I saw it years ago. I remember it was quite good. So there you go. That's hilarious. Someone uploaded McLovin's ID over on the Roblox website and their account got deleted. Well, the thing is, guys, this ban message isn't real. Yep, it's fake. It's a Photoshop. As far as I know, when you submit a fake ID, I don't think anything happens. You definitely don't get banned for it. I think they kind of just see the ID and they know it's fake and then just kind of like disregard your message. I don't think your account will get deleted over this. But honestly, that is hilarious. This is a really good meme anyway. This guy called Lulu5239, also known as the Roblox YouTuber Stalker, found a way to sign up to Roblox Voice Chat early. He said, Sharpbox, doing age verification even without having it on my account. I can help people doing that if needed. I even made a video tutorial. I'll tell you what, guys, I will leave a link to his tweet in this video's description if you guys want to check out his guide and see how he did it. He basically used some inspect element tricks on the Roblox webpage, and he was able to go to the Roblox ID verification screen. He could type in his name, submit his ID, send a selfie, all of that kind of stuff. Now, to be honest, guys, I honestly don't know if this is worth doing. Voice chat probably comes out next week anyway. So 
sometimes these inspect element tricks are a little bit dodgy as well sometimes they can go wrong so yeah i'm probably not going to try this one myself one of my mates tried it and they said it didn't really work anyway i think they had to try it on their android device but yeah if you guys want to try this go ahead an early sign up trick just keep in mind guys that it's not 100 guaranteed that this will work in other news got some roblox event news for you guys this one is from jack and jack says the new lobo event got ruined and raided by hackers i guess getting the mooncake buddy item is now impossible i had hopes yeah to be honest i'm not surprised i didn't really like this event anyway it was super confusing super glitchy very strangely made as well but yep the leaderboard is now hacked and as you can see these guys have got millions of points i don't know what hacking techniques they used but honestly that is insane someone is trying very hard to get the golden mooncake buddy got some roblox game news for you guys this one is from luke adopt me has been replaced with a starter place the game's play account has been halved in five minutes and it looks to have been deleted so yeah basically the game adopt me got reset for like an hour i didn't make a video about this when it first happened because it was fixed very very quickly but i thought you know what i'll add it into a roblox news video i'm sure some of you guys will find this interesting if i just scroll down we can see the whole timeline of events the game was privated roblox or adopt me themselves have shut down all the games it looks like they're trying to fix it or something it was probably an accident on roblox's part to be fair there you go more information if you guys want to read it just pause the video update adopt me is now playable again so there you go it got reset to a starter place it went private they fixed it and it went back up all within an hour so yeah that's pretty much it got some more roblox game news this one is from sketch and he said yikes roblox search is one broken mf eh? <laughs> all right that's kind of funny basically what happened right i'm sure you guys have seen this game already because this game is blowing up right now sketch and his brother wanted to see if they could make a roblox game in less than 24 hours so they made a game based off the netflix show called squid game they called their roblox game fish game obviously for copyright reasons these guys didn't want to get sued and basically what happened many many people made fake kind of like rip off crappy versions of their game and the fake rip off versions started getting tons of plays because roblox players were searching for the real version and it wasn't appearing in the roblox search only the fake games were so yeah kind of stupid i hope roblox can get this sorted as soon as possible but there we have it guys i guess that's pretty much it for another episode of roblox news if you guys enjoyed this one like normal make sure to leave a like and subscribe thank you so much for watching this episode and i will see you guys in the next one